Good morning and welcome to another vlog. It is a Thursday, the 16th of May 2019, and we are about to head off to Leeds. Excuse me, I'm just having a little on the on the 722 from Cottingley to Leeds and then we're going to go to Peterborough on the 740 if it connects which hopefully it will do it's just coming in now is the train we need so if I spin round here it is this is our train the borrowed northern unit which allegedly is finishing when the new timetable starts they're both going to be TPEs 185s so that's why I thought I'd film this and right from the start so this is our first train, 17475. Details on screen. Right, it's ready to Leeds now, our next train is over there, skipped in King's Cross. So I've got about five minutes or so before it leaves, so I'll go tear out in rush. Around either. Right, yeah, he's come a long way with it. Skipped in King's Cross. It's 39, almost 40, so uh, I'm blowing the whistles. Not very far off leaving. That's the doors. <coughs> <coughs> The Trans Pennine service over there. <laughs> Here we go. The other day they didn't come out to get a little bit of 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 a little Hi, right. so yes, we've just got off uh, 1A13 which is the one from Skipton, which is just behind us now here. And um, yeah, so uh, we'll see this go. We've got the, it's got the road, it's just been given the tip to go. I'll stay in the shade a bit, it's a bit bright. Not an Azuma, but uh, we'll get one at some point. So this is now platform one of course, the old platform one was uh, just here, it's trackless now because it's hardly ever used and it wasn't easy to get into it, you had to cross the main lines to get into it. So Keithy and Shipley aren't actually on the uh, destination boards on the window labels because the pick up only stations, as you can see. exit right Peterborough in the sunshine there's uh, one or two trains knocking about so uh, anyway we need to walk to Whittlesea now which is down this way and out of the city centre 
And that's just Peterborough Cathedral. Or part of it, I think. Might be further on. I'll go straight down. It wasn't that long since we visited Peterborough and went round the cathedral, so uh, we haven't really got time to spend too long here before we need to head to Whittlesea to keep with our booked planned itinerary for the day. But it's massive, it is absolutely massive, it's Peterborough Cathedral. And go on how long it's taken to build Thameslink, uh, to Thameslink Crossrail in London, taking over 10 years. This took over a hundred years to build Peterborough Cathedral. Actually, I don't think that is, I don't think that is the cathedral, but anyway. Hi. So yeah, cathedral's just up ahead now. It's a bit uh, difficult to see with the sun. Anyway, we'll turn right just down here now. Great city is Peterborough. How would you get to Ravenglass from here? Uh, probably Leeds, Lancaster just... Or else you could probably go on the cross, co uh, not cross country, East Midlands service to... Oh, you could go to Birmingham, couldn't you? And across that way, but... Anyway, Bridge Street. We go around this way. There's always someone with an angle grinder or a drill, isn't there? Right, leaving the city of Peterborough behind now and walking alongside the River Neen for uh, quite a while. Lots of swans and whatever here. And we haven't got time for a swim, unfortunately. Well, that is a temptation. It's a bit mucky, though, is the River Neen. We've got swan poo. There's pigeons as well. Swannies! Come here, I've always wanted to stroke a swan's head. Eh? Not going to happen. I thought not. To stroke a swan's head. Got lovely necks, haven't you? Hey! Allegedly, they can peck you so strong they can break your arm, but. I don't want to say I find that hard to believe and then it should be true, so they peck us and whatever. Hey, what's that? Is that a, is that a pigeon? That's a. Well, answers on a postcard, whatever that is, or a comment. Greater Anglia. That's probably what we're going to get on later. Take back in about two hours. Well, a few minutes then, two hours later. So, yeah. Right, this is the East Midlands service, 9.40 off Peterborough. For Norwich. Just a two-car formation, this side of Nottingham. Right, we're going to walk, continue walking along here. And I think we might cross at that bridge up ahead. We'll check it. Right, we couldn't really use that bridge, although it looks like you could at this end, but getting over the other side might be difficult. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much, because we're going to walk along this side of the bank, the north bank of the River Neen, and cross over the river at the next available point, which you can't see because it's too far away at the moment. Lovely weather. Perfect weather for walking. So, yeah. Quite a well used path along this side. Less so over there. There's a swan swimming up. Yes, I can see your little swan. Thinks it 
can't see me. Anyway, let's keep going. That's the one two hours ahead of ours, heading to Ipswich. And there's a freight train going to the way. Freight liner, probably from Felix Stowe. A boat capsized there, look of it. There's a look at the back as well, it's top and tailed. <laughs> Could reverse this film, it looked like it's going to the way. It's going from left to right. That's at the back. Alright, this is looking back now. Where we've just come from, from Peterborough. Some distance back now. And uh, this is the bridge we're using now to cross the Neen. So let's do it. I think there might be time for a swim. Still got an hour and a half. <coughs> I don't think it's, I don't know how far it is yet, but I think we'll be over halfway. It might be about halfway. It's at Peter two and a half back yonder. So let's do this. It's a lot narrower here now. I wonder if bridge jumping would be possible here. Don't know how deep it is though, do we? Cow. Incredible, isn't it? How long and straight it is. Because it's been canalised. You know, it's a river. A few photographs there, a bit faded light, but. Right. You can get a vehicle across the island, can't you? Yeah, if you needed to. Only a car or like that. Right, we're on the correct side now for uh, Whittlesey uh, town. Right, we'll just have five. Quick drink of water. I was only about getting a car through there. I doubt it. That is not really wide enough for any vehicle. It's fixed as that, so... Right. We'll just have five. Right, looking back briefly now. Long way from Peterborough. Uh, right, we're on the Hedderwood Way. Which goes some considerable distance past either because we've, we walked it past there when we did ship at Hill and Brandon, Lake and I think it was. Ooh, nine, twelve years, twelve, thirteen years ago, I think it was smart. Weather wasn't as good as this. Yeah, it was 2007, I remember doing that now. So, we're curving around to the right, just ahead. And uh, we're not that far off Whittlesey town now. See, it has been fairly, fairly flat because that's what Cambridgeshire is. Very similar to York. It is. Right, we're now in Whittlesey. 
Just heading towards the centre of town. This is the main A605. So when we get to a roundabout a bit further up here, we'll go straight ahead and then right. Right, this is the town centre of Whittlesea. The bus stop. What buses go from here? 31 and 33 to Peterborough. Hmm, quite a good service, that's every half hour. The trains will be two hours though, isn't it? Probably takes half the time the bus does. Anyway, you've got a butcher's shop down there. Uh, Whatever that is, an engraving, a key cutting shop. We want something like uh, the Greggs, don't we? Something like that, a sandwich shop. Have a look at Nissa, I think. Right, we've just got a sandwich or so back there at a sandwich shop and uh, <laughs> Subway. Never mind. Right, let's head over to the train station, which is going to be right down here now. There's a little sign just there that says it's right. So we'll uh, head over that way. Oh, look at that. Oh, weather spoons. Oh, my word. What a shame. I could have just murdered a, a decent feed there at weather spoons. Never mind. It reminds me a little bit of Otley, does this actually? So there's spoons. Well, that shows a tandoori restaurant there and uh, whatever, nice little, I won't say bandstand, but a nice little sheltered seating area. Anyway, let's head over to the train station, which is down here. Plenty of battery at the moment, so let's keep going. Right, I see a level crossing up ahead. And it is manual gates. And they're closed because there's a train coming through. Let's keep watching. I'll zoom in a little. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's, that's really good. It's an East Midlands service. I say the manual gates, they might actually be operated from the signal box, but we shall see what we shall see if somebody is coming out to do them by hand. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, it's a manual level crossing. Right, that is looking back towards the town centre of Whittlesey. This is a pub appropriately called The Railway. It'd be nice to have actually had food in there if it had been available. But anyway, we have a sandwich and we have half an hour at least. Well early. So as soon as we get to the platform, I'll stop the uh, view ranger from recording. Oh, semaphore signals as well. Oh my word. It's like a railway museum. Right. Where's the... Where's the platform? That's the... Where's the other platform? Right, well I just told it was down here. Platform 2. It is. Quite a stagger is this from one to the other. I thought they were opposite sides of the crossing then for a minute, but they're not. <sighs> right, here we are. Step free access. 
I assume it's going to be step free access on that side as well. I think it probably is. Yeah, so it's probably green tick. Anyway, that's where our train is coming from, and we're going down that way. But I think that's probably cleared for an express at the moment, still quite a while. Right, he's opening the gates for the traffic now. You know, you could have steam over here and it wouldn't look out of place. And the traffic flows. Norwich service. Middleton Towers, Monk Breton. Right, this is our train now. Ely. Oh, it does, doesn't it, Peter? Yeah, it's. Uh, it should have been switch on. Yes, somebody's made a slight mistake there. So where shall we sit? Oh, there's a, there's a table there. Let's get that. Oh, it's a light engine. A light engine movement. I'll let you get it. is the line to Wisbeach or Whitemore Yard which is obviously quite shiny Wisbeach isn't used very much and then this is the line coming in the other side of the triangle very shortly as we approach March determined to do this March in March one day Eastwich. and that's the other side up there March. used to run through the separate platforms over there because oh, actually when I did and that rail tour, was it Compton Pedigree or something like that that did Whiz Beach, it went through the platforms at the back there which is what it used to use for Spalding years ago yeah. and then they realigned it very shortly afterwards just leaving March now you can see where they've created a, a walkway there over the old track bed from the Spalding lines sad waste of a waste of a line could have brought, brought that back by now. This is March. Why was it all the March East Junction. Yeah. Right, not many. This used to be a very difficult station up until quite recently. And uh, we walked here from March a few years ago. 2007, I think it was. Quite a few people have got on and off. Not bad. I wonder if that van is like some kind of guards van or something like on, it's on the opposite side. I'll have to just check that as we leave. I think it's marooned if it's still there. Oh, they do, yeah. I'm sure they do. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just to come 
Oh my god, son, it's still there. Somewhere. Yep, it's still there. Oh my word. Two very long rivers here now. Very, very long rivers. There's a lot of land around here, reclaimed land from the sea, from years ago. Uh, no, not from the sea, I don't think, no. I think it's just low, really low, low level. Low level, oh, There's right. fence, yeah. Mm. And that is the other one there. Right, away this one goes. Over to Ipswich. And the destination's correct now. Changed it. Greater Anglia, you are pretty good. We've got the feather there for the for the Solomon line across to Kennet. Well, welcome to Ely. I can see Ely Cathedral in the background there. Unfortunately, we haven't time to go around it. We have been off here before and out of the station, so this is already ticked. He's Ely. So anyway, let's get on this uh, train now and head to Cambridge North. I just left Ely now. And this line to the left here is the line to um, Soham and Kennet which is where that train would have gone earlier that we had went on. And the bridge is just a little way around the corner there. That's that bridge that was damaged um, a while ago, 12 years ago, when we did that other, when we did that walk from March to Maney. It was rather involved. You see the, you see the new bridge there now, just zoom it in. That's the replacement. Right, welcome to Cambridge North. Just watch this one go and then head out of the station. I think there's three platforms here, there might be four, I'm not sure. Is it going or not? It's a eight car formation, I think. Right, I think it's going to go now. Close doors, that's the CD code. RA right away. It's a DO train. Whether this will happen in West Yorkshire, who knows? Right, let's have a look at the station. Yeah, just three platforms, I think, by the looks of it. Now you came me, I was like, Oliver is coming, so I'm gonna have my feet up and do nothing today. <laughs> Interesting design of bridge. <laughs> Little squares and trellis, whatever. Yeah, it's just the three platforms. Anyway, the only other platform three is a terminus. And, uh, right, let's uh, head out, see if we can get a bus to Histon or Impington or whatever it is. It'll be green tick, of course it's green tick. All new stations have to be. We're going to run out of battery soon, I've only got three quarters of an hour left and it soon drops. Right. 
We're on service D now, operated by Stagecoach, which is uh, going to Histon and Impington. So we'll get off somewhere there and then walk the rest of the way to uh, Water Beach. We're coming up to the bit now where it's a concrete guideway. This is the old Fendrayton line now. Be in the background there, this is service D to Marley Road. Looks like an inspector that. Mm. Very rare. And that's why he probably didn't let us go for free, it's a bit too weighty on that. You see how narrow it is there as it heads off into the distance. Yeah, we'll do the rest of the concrete guideway later when we do Huntingdon, St Ives and probably the other direction. Right, let's walk over to Water Beach. So going left here. Hey look, there's like an old station there, isn't there? You now that looks like the uh, route map, approximate route map. Anyway, we'll have a look at uh, that in a bit more detail later. Right, and this is an old station. Must be Histon in Impington Station. There's a pub there. Fancy a pint, actually. Right, there we are. Old railway station. Oh, there's number eight, which is uh, obviously more direct service from Cambridge city centre to um, Histon and Impington. Anyway, we'll start the recording here because obviously this is the station we would have got off at had it been a, rail, a live railway line. Right, this is walk number two. We've just walked down there from the pub and this is the way we're heading. A notable event took place just a little bit further up here a few years ago where a young lad decided to wear a skirt to school in protest about a, a ban on shorts. And this is the first school that it occurred at in recent times. So we shall see that as we go past. Obviously he's not there now because he's about 18 or 19 now he's a lad concerned. Lovely area. Afternoon. Sports Centre. Mm. Quite a lot of facilities in this town. Or should I should say village, it's hardly a town, is it? It's just a, a village along with Histon. There we are. Impington Village College. And that is where the, uh, that young lad wore a skirt. For, uh, he's got a good... Uh, don't like pointing cameras at schools really, but avoid it, but... He's got a good write-up. It has. Anyway, that was it. So, let's keep going. Oh my word, how nice, how nice. Look at that, uh, imagine it's in Bington Church. Anyway, let's keep going down this way until we get to the Bridal Way, which will take us to uh, Water Beach. It's almost as far actually walking from here, to, well from Impington, uh, where the old station was, to Water Beach as it was from Cambridge North actually, but anyway, we'll keep going. Right, we just walked down that road there from Impington, and we're going to turn left here now, onto this uh, 
bridle work. I'm not so sure how we're going to do this actually now because I don't think we're going to get the train that we planned to get at Water Beach. So we'll see. Nothing certain yet, nothing set in stone. And we might do it, but we might also do it if it's a bit late. But so far, everything's been pretty much on time. Right, this is Water Beach. See which way the train station is from here now. I'm not 100% sure it's a station down there at the right. That'll be it. Ah, relative easy commuting distance to London from here, and it's very nice. Leafy suburbia. Right, we're about here now, Water Beach, level crossing straight ahead. Still got about 20 minutes. So, here we are, modern signal lights. Yeah. Right, well this is the down platform obviously. We don't want to go to Wheelie. So we don't want this side. We want to be over there. Something's coming. Something's coming. Something's coming, it'll go in a minute. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yellow light junkie. Now we're at this level crossing without you. Express, Cambridge to Norwich, I think it is. Welcome, this is Water Beach, and we get the train from here to Cambridge, and then from Cambridge to Audley End. That's the plan. We're actually about an hour later than planned now because I screwed up early. I just didn't quite get there in time from Impington across here. So anyway, the train is due any time now. The level crossing will be bursting into action fairly soon, I would think. Pity about the point work here anyway, because it's uh, a bit of it's missing. So. It's not in use at the moment. There's a lump of wood in it down there, they probably will. No, it's the trailing point, so no, it doesn't really need it. It's the trailing point, it's the facing point, it would officially. Right, this is our next train now to Cambridge. That's the main Cambridge station, of course. seats again. Right, I made it to Audley End for Saffron Walden. In other words, it's Saffron Walden Parkway. So, as I say, we're a little bit late, but later than planned. And uh, this is a train we've just used. So we've got about half an hour now to get to Newport. That's Newport, Essex, obviously. It's not very, it's only three minutes by train. 
<laughs> right, let's exit. We've only got about 20 minutes or so of battery power now. Handy. It's a pity the branch to Saffron Walden isn't still with us. Hmm, right. So, all the end. Tick. Let's head out. start fuel ranger. Right, there's only one way to go and that's up there to the left and over the railway. Right round I think. It's a massive car park is this for a, such a small station. But as I say it is acting as Saffron Walden Parkway. Hiya. Big car park for a small station this isn't it? Well it's a busy commuter station. Because it is Saffron Walden Parkway. Isn't it in effect? I, I suppose so, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, it, it covers, yeah, there's a lot of people commute down to London. Mm. So, uh, yes, it is yeah. a big still not big enough. Yeah, uh, better get going. See you later. Maybe some more little villages. Hi. Nice lad. Well, if we come again to uh, Bordley End, we will go to Safford Walden and we'll check out that mini railway that we just noticed on the map. I doubt it'll be working now. Might do in the wit week. Don't record too much of this walk actually, because we've not got, as I say, not got much battery on. I want to save some for the uh, last bit to Angel Road. Anyway, it's over the railway down here. I have my doubts we're going to do it in half an hour, we'll see. Right, we're going to turn right here now on the Saffron Trail up there. So that's where we just come from. I'm going to walk up here now. This is fairly easy. It's bloody concrete again. Anyway, we don't have to walk on the concrete. If I hold it over there like that, it looks like I'm doing. We shall walk on the grass. Right, here's a cross country service heading for Birmingham New Street. Nice little bit of red and silver. Right, we'll now continue the walk along the Saffron Way, or Saffron Trail, or whatever it's called. Again, not to be a bit economical with battery power because obviously there's not a lot left now. Oh, it was handy seeing that there, only runs once an hour, don't forget. is gradually going down. Certainly not as high as it was earlier. Time we are. 
20 to 5, 1640 now. So, aha, uh -huh. now, are we going straight ahead or around to the right? forward down there but before we do get one more train see if we get a southbound service sounds like someone's approaching can't with the motor it's too far away This is a southbound service to Liverpool Street. Oh, that's two contrasting liveries there. That's pretty good, is that? Right, let's continue the walk. Down here. It becomes a road fairly so, fairly soon. Oh, this is lovely, is this, isn't it? A tree tunnel, almost. Well, the amount of places I could love to love to move to. What about getting to Ravenglass from here? <laughs> Everywhere you think, don't you? Oh my word, a fox! There was a fox there. Oh my word. Just seen a fox. There's a very brown dog with a big bushy tail, so. Oh, it's there. Look, fox. Foxy! Look at that, eh? What a turn up. Full zoom. Hello, Foxy. Better keep going. Just gone through there. Little gap in the fence. Mr. Fox or Mrs. Fox. Come on, we better get back to our walk. That's enough for wild and wildlife on my channel. Straight up here now. Look at this, eh? This is beautiful. Not far now to Newport. End of this path, we're left and then immediately right past the church. I love these tree lined paths, absolutely love them. We've got nine minutes left now. This is not great. Right, we've made it. Newport, Essex. Step free access to this side. Now, what about the other side? Yes, I'd say the step free access over there as well. But not directly between the two, so it's the same situation as Cottingley and Menston in West Yorkshire and wherever else. It doesn't say Newport Essex on the actual signs, does it? It says Newport. Right, well anyway, let's stop view range and wait for the next train. Just alighted at Sawbridgeworth now on this one, just to check it out momentarily. Ten minutes, that's all we've got, and then back on the next one. So Sawbridgeworth, tick. Right, there's no pub up there, which we thought there was, but just check this out. Acorn Antiques. Now, where do we know, where do we know where we heard that before? Could it have something to do with Victoria Wood? I think it might. 
anyway, there's a, there's a grill of some kind here, yeah, so we'll check that out and head back. Right, this is our next train. Not going to Stratford, only one stop we're doing, just Harlow Town. Oops, a daisy. Royden, tick. This is the train we've just got off. We're not going to have much time to record anything at Angel Road with the camcorder because it's probably not going to last. Anyway, we'll have a little wander. And uh, the plan was to walk across to Rye House from here, but it just isn't, it just isn't time now. So. We're going to get on here on the next one to get off at Angel Road now instead of any walking. Right, we're just a short distance from Royden Station there's a path here which I'd like to perhaps walk on maybe next time. But we simply haven't got time. We need to be on this next train now in a few minutes. So we'll just go back down here, turn left to the station. And again we want the up platform which is where we got off. It's been a pretty good day. I hope nothing spoils it. Famous last words, right. Oh, level crossings down. An express. There's a nice restaurant there, look of it. It's a pity you haven't got more time here, it really is. I think we'll have a look over to the side where that bridge is. We might have another one coming. The barriers are still down. Could be a double. Signal boxes to the right. Yeah, there's another one coming here. Looks like this is stopping. to Angel Road, soon to be closed and replaced by another station a few yards to the south. Right, that's the new station down there, Meridian Water. This is our train leaving.